Hello all, welcome back. I'm back with another important video. In this video, we'll be discussing some important questions of chapter 3, CBSE Science. So, let's go to the first question. To emulate each of concentrated HCl, HNO3 and a mixture of concentrated HCl and concentrated HNO3. In the ratio of 3 is to 1, we taken in test tubes labeled as ABC. A small piece of metal was put in each test tube. No change occurred in test tubes A and B, but the metal got dissolved in test tube C respectively. The metal could be. As we know, a mixture of concentrated HCl and concentrated HNO3 in the ratio of 3 is to 1 is known as royal water. The specialty about royal water is that it could dissolve gold. So, as they told that when a metal X was placed in this solution, it dissolved. So, the answer is gold. So, this is the second question. During electrolytic refining of zinc, it gets deposited in cathode, deposited in anode, deposited in cathode as well as anode remains in the solution. The answer for this question is deposited in anode as during electrolytic refining, the pure metal Whatever zinc is there, it gets deposited on anode. This is the third question. The electronic configurations of three elements X, Y and Z are X that is 2 is to 8, Y that is 2 comma 8 comma 7 and Z that is 2 comma 8 comma 2. As we know, element X that has the configuration, electronic configuration as 2 comma 8 is a noble gas. And the uh, element Y, which has the electric configuration as 2, 8, 7, is a non-metal. And Z, which has electric configuration, which is 2, 8, 2, is a metal. So, answer G is right, Y is non-metal, and Z is a metal. Let's go to the next question. Explain the following. A. Reactivity of aluminium decreases if it's dipped in HNO3. As we know, when aluminium is dipped in HNO3, the it aluminium oxide a layer forms on this aluminium which decreases its reactivity. Next is NaCl is not a good conductor of electricity in solid state, whereas it does conduct electricity in aqueous solution as well as in molten state. When NaCl, NaCl that is sodium chloride which is common salt in, so, uh, in solid form it doesn't have H plus ions but whereas in this aqueous solution or in molten state it has free H plus ions which help, its con which help it conduct electricity. Instead of aqueous solution we can tell um, for this scenario it's salt water. Iron metals are galvanized. So, iron metals are galvanized. First, let's understand what is galvanized. What is the meaning of galvanization? Galvanization is the process where a layer of uh, zinc is coated on this iron uh, uh, articles. So, it's done so to prevent corrosion. Now, let's go to the next question. This is an assessing reasoning question. Changing the color of copper from reddish brown to black is an example of reduction. Hydrogen is removed. Yes, the answer for this question would be assertion is true and R is the correct explanation of the assertion because in assertion they have told us that it's an example of reduction. Yes, though, so this color change of copper from reddish brown to black is truly an example of reduction and why the reason is correct explanation of assertion because in reduction generally hydrogen is removed and that is the assertion so reason is the correct explanation of assertion now let's go to the next question next question that is an you again an assertion and reasoning question corrosion of iron is a serious problem reason is that Every year, an enormous amount of money is spent to replace damaged ion. Yes, here the answer is both the assertion and reasoning are true and reason is the correct answer of assertion. So, every year, how this, uh, so our uh, reason gives us a hint that 
every year enormous of money is spent to replace damaged iron so let's take some examples over here iron bridges or etc if they get rusted generally there's uh, there are more chances of the bridge collapsing so for the safety etc generally that metal is replaced whenever it gets rusted so as it's creating a huge loss yes definitely corrosion of iron is a serious problem let's go to the next slide so this is actually a case based question i have only written the question let me tell you the paragraph that is with the question i hope i request everyone to listen carefully to the passage corrosion is the phenomenon of deterioration of the surface of metal in presence of air and moisture it is a natural process and in the presence of a moist atmosphere chemically active metals get corroded this is an oxidation reaction rusting is the process where iron corrodes due to exposure to atmosphere the main circumstance of corrosion occurs with iron because it is a structural material in construction bridges buildings rail transport ships etc aluminium is also an important structural metal but even aluminium undergoes oxidation reaction however aluminium doesn't corrode or oxidize as rapidly as it as its reactivity such as an alloy of aluminium or any other metal like magnesium can make alloy stronger and harder copper corrodes and forms a basic green carbonate and lead corrodes to form a white lead white lead oxide or carbonate the questions that are associated with this paragraph are first is first question is what is rusting as we know that rusting is a process where iron corrodes due to exposure to the atmosphere next question is which two metals do not corrode easily the two metals which do not corrode easily are aluminium and magnesium they have asked to list two properties of alloys alloys generally have low melting point compared to metals and they have low electrical conductivity uh compared to metals next question is what is the effect of corrosion on electrical conductivity generally when the uh, corrosion occurs the electrical conductivity decreases so there are more questions actually let's see what is the next question okay so from here i request you all to copy the questions as i forgot to add them in the slide so next question is that explain the following statement at ordinary temperature the surface of metals such as magnesium aluminium zinc etc is covered with a thin layer what is the composition of this layer state is important uh, to explain this uh, statement let's take an example of magnesium when magnesium reacts with oxygen a layer is formed that is known as magnesium oxide if you have done the magnesium white uh, magnesium ribbon experiment then they would have told you to rub the magnesium ribbon first with the sandpaper so that the layer that's uh, uh that the layer that is there on the magnesium ribbon that is magnesium oxide is removed the speciality of this uh, the importance of this ribbon is that it prevents the magnesium ribbon from getting reacted or from being burnt so this uh, slows down the reaction so next question is that they have asked us what is the name given to corrosion of iron as we know the name that is given to the corrosion of iron is rusting they have asked about the next question is what is the formula of green color coating on copper so the formula of green color coating on copper is coo that is a copper oxide next they have asked to name two methods to prevent corrosion of iron the two methods some uh, i have taken these two methods so the two methods to prevent corrosion of iron are galvanization and painting they have asked is corrosion a redox reaction yes truly corrosion is a redox reaction so in the next question there is an arrangement shown so they have taken three test tubes a b c in that they have kept few iron nails 
one iron nail contains uh, one test tube contains iron nail submerged in water and the test tube even contains air in second test tube uh, iron nails are, st are kept in uh, boiled distilled water and top of that water they have added there's a layer of oil and top of the layer of oil there's oil in uh, test tube b there's dry air iron nails and below iron nails there's any hydros calcium chloride so what are the two observations that can be made after a few days from the given arrangement we can tell that in test tube a as there is both air and water uh, as we know air and water contain uh, high uh, this oxygen the rust the nails will definitely get rusted in uh, test tube b there is definitely a but and there is even a layer of oil so there the layer of oil acts as a barrier preventing air entering uh, in the boil, boiled distilled water in test tube c we have dry hair so as the air is dry the nails won't get uh, get rusted they won't be they won't be any change in the nails in both the test tube b and c only in A we would see a change because there, there is both air and water which is which has oxygen and oxygen is something that makes iron nails corrode. So next question is really nice question. The question is as so. A non-material X exists in two different forms Y and Z. Y is the hardest natural substance where Z is a good conductor of electricity. Identify X, Y, Z. As we know, here the clue is the Y is the natural, is the hardest natural substance. So as we know, diamond is the natural hard, uh, is the hardest natural substance. So Y is diamond, and diamond is uh, one more a uh, form of carbon. So a non-metal, as you know, carbon is a non-metal, and it exists even in the form of diamond. So, X is carbon and uh, whereas Z is a good conductor of electricity, graphite which is another form of carbon is a really good conductor of electricity. So, that's all for today's uh, video. I hope you all are, uh, you all have enjoyed the video. So, in the future, I'll be coming up with more important questions. In the future videos, we'll be solving the PYQs, important questions, etc. So, I hope you all like this video. That's all for today. Please, if you like my content, please subscribe the channel and like the video. Thank you all.